There's a book titled The Karihara Family, Part 7, which instantly caught your attention. The Karihara family has an extremely big archive where every single data about the family was recorded. The archive was made since the day Sejiro found the forbidden scroll about the ice reincarnations ritual. The archive now is located inside the ice cavern. They said that it was moved there because Shoichi doesn't want anyone to read the archive even if it was a family member, except for Seiko. The ice cavern? I don't think we can enter that place, and it must be freezing inside that place. We have to, if we want to find a way out of this lost dimension. For now, let's just see if we can find anything out about that ice cavern. You're not going to look for Taiga? Of course we'll look for him too. He's our friend. And your secret crush. Or perhaps just vice versa. Wait a minute. We're back in the hall already? I mean, there's a trap room before the hall. It's the same thing like when I finished the labyrinth puzzle. That's a good thing though. We don't have to go through that nightmarish room again. Oh man, I could have sworn that there was a room I missed. God dang it. Oopsies. So, back to the ice cavern. Because I have no clue where to find Taiga. Eh. Alright. Mm, this way. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Hey Odie, why did you stay off there just saving? And the only reason for that is because it's closer. Pretty sure that there was another. Yeah, I'm not sure if I ever went inside this one. So, I'm gonna check it out. Oh, darkness me. Please don't do harm or foul. Part 4. It has been 4 hours since I fell asleep in this old house. Until now, I don't see any spirit nearby, nor sensing them too. It seems that the holy power that came from Seiko's grave kept protecting this village from any vengeful spirit. She's really the holy mother of Karihara family. Indeed she is. She saved me after all. Family part 5. The Karihara family owns a large number of polar bears and wolves. They usually took them along during a war or hunt. The bears and the wolves are trained hard in order to compete against the family's opponent during a war. I've witnessed a trained bear killed around 3 or 5 samurai at a time. The animals, however, they only obey Seiko's command. After Seiko died, Yukiko became the one that they obeyed. Huh. So what caused Yukiko to become so evil? I'm pretty sure that they mentioned that in the story, I just completely forgot. I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Uh, to the ice cavern. Ooh, it's so dark. We're too bad. I'm the priority girl. Yeah, I don't think I ever went this way. Door is locked. What? What do I do? Oh yeah, <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Stone tablet with the word. Oh, okay. I know what to do now. We go back to that statue area and we go take a left this time because we're allowed to. Nice. All right, we're back in the statue room and this one is the demon. So let's head this way. But I have the demon tablet! What the heck? Maybe I'm supposed to put it here, that's why. Yuki, look! The stone tablet! The stone tablet reacted to the statue. I'm going to put the stone on the statue's indent. Demon path is now unsealed. I get it now. If we want to unseal the path, we need to find a stone tablet that resembles the statue. We still got one more path that 
needs to be unsealed. The dragon path, isn't it? Save that for later. I wonder if Taiga is looking for us now. Hey, hey, don't forget that we're the ones who are looking for him. Huh? What is it, Kayako? Sorry, Yuki. It looks like I dropped my phone somewhere in the residency. I'm going to look for it. You're going back to look for it? Yep. Go on ahead first, Yuki. I'll catch up with you quickly. You are going alone? Dario might be so be... That's why I'm going alone. Better than getting both of us killed, right? Is it really worth it? Going back and putting your life in danger just for a phone? I have my own reason. An important reason. That's why I'm willing to go back and look for it. Promise me you'll catch up with me later, okay? I promise. See you later. This might be crazy, but I've got to get my phone back. Yeah, you, you're psycho, Kayako. Like, why the heck do you want your phone? Seriously. God. Kayako's these days. Ah, uh, residency. Where's the residency? The residency is the, uh... Yeah, it's that place. That makes no sense. Why does she want her phone? Did she give the dude his phone number? Angel guy? Did she give... Someone her phone number? <laughs> I don't know. But if I was her, I would just leave it. Who needs their phone when you're in hell, you know? Just get a new one. Get a job and then get a new one. Stupid Kayako. You crayfish, girl. You crayfish. Alright. If I was a phone, where would I be? See, if she had a smartwatch, she would know if she was in the general area. Oh god, I have no clue where to even start to search. Uh, let's try every door, I guess. Every door I've been through, especially this one. No, don't tell me stuff. I don't want to know. Just give me my phone. Give me my phone. Or I'll pwn you. Where's my phone? It's not my phone. Tell me I have to actually examine everything. Oh god. Can I at least get a hint? Well, they did say- Aha! Here it is. Found it. Kayako got her phone back. Alright, now to leave where no one's gonna try and chase and kill me because this game is safe like that. I guess Yuki forgot that she is the only one who gave me the cell phone. Oh, it's some cheesiness. Okay, that makes more sense. Kayako, what are you doing here? Nothing, it's just that my phone seems to be broken. Huh? But how did it break? I got into a fight yesterday. Well, the opponent accidentally kicked the phone, which was located in my pocket. You got into a fight? There was this kid yesterday who was being bullied by a gang of high schoolers, so I stepped in and a fight started right after. I just hate those kind of gangs who pick on weak people. That sounds so heroic. <laughs> Here, take this phone. Hey, hey, it's yours, right? I can't accept this. Don't worry. I already got a new phone, so I'm giving it to you. Whoa. Th thank you. I'll cherish it a lot. Oh, okay. How cheesy. Now let's leave. Without any craziness. Ah, oh, of course. Wh what? This feeling. Should have conserved my sprint. Don't ever think. You can get away from me! Uh oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see your body disintegrate! She, she's gonna disintegrate my body? That explains why those corpses only have bones left even though their blood haven't dried. I've made a promise with Yuki. I can't die. I'll have to run! Alright Kayako, use your parkour skills. And uh, yeah, it's safe. 
Man, four hours in this game. Yowzas. Go, Kayako, go! Go, Kayako, go! Go, Kayako, go! Kayako, Kayako! Kayako! Go, 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 Kayako! Am I still being chased? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Where is it? Hmm. Alright, let's conserve my sprint. Because I think I lost her. I don't know. But let's go. Good go 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 Ha Ooh slow motion For the win What the She just sprints for it Ugh Taiga, where? I'm inside an elevator? I, I remember being chased by some spirits and ended up using the elevator to run away. Then suddenly four of them surrounded me. I don't remember what happened after that. Oh, well, that was probably my imagination. I don't believe that ghost exists. I should go back to my room. Of course, Taiga, of course. There's always that one character whose skull is too thick. You gotta be kidding me. This is my bedroom. B but I remember correctly that I was in a hotel with my friends celebrating a graduation from junior high school. M maybe this is a dream. It's not a dream. Huh? Hey, angel boy. Oh, no. Whoa, ghost, Seiko. Don't be afraid. I'm not like those spirits you've met before. Th then who are you? Oh no, Yukiko. Huh. I'm so confused here. <laughs> My name is Yukiko Kirihara. I'm the one who brought you here. You, you brought me here? I saw that you were being chased by a lot of spirits. That's why I brought you here. I guess I... They, they, what? So those spirits were real? Yes, they were. Right now, you're in a lost dimension. What? B but this is my room. Yep, a room created from your memory. I don't understand. I'm gonna explain everything about it now, so please, listen. You don't believe me? Nope, I've experienced it myself, but... Uh. So, I'm the only living person around here? No, there's two more people that were brought here. Both of them are still alive, I think. Can you show me where they are right now? I can't. They're all too far from us, from this place. But I can still sense their existence in this dimension a while ago. I see. Where should I go now? I've no clue where to go. For now, just try to escape this memory. We'll meet again later. You're going to leave now? Sorry, but I have my own objective. Bye then. Good luck with your mission. You too. Stay alive. Whoa! I forgot to ask her how to escape from this place. As Taiga, you have a larger HP than both Yuki and Kayako. Use this advantage to maneuver around aggressive spirits without having to worry too much about dying. Keep this in mind that Kaika can neither jump over a gap nor exercise spirits. Finding the spirits is the only way to survive. I see. It's my diary. I hope I didn't write anything embarrassing. July 21st, 2001. Today, my dad taught me another Batosjutsu. It was a quick slash technique with a deadly accuracy and damage. I wonder if someday the technique that my dad taught me would be useful. Hmm. So far, his room is a lot nicer than Yuki's. It's bigger. It looks more useful. He has a closet. Ah, special closet room. All to itself. Oh, that's not his closet room. Damn, it's so dark. Hope the entrance door is open. Oh, damn it. I wanted to see the other room that he had up there. Probably the bathroom or a closet. 
Oh, it is a closet. God damn it. I hate it when I do that. Always. Always. I'm doing that always. So, to get this straight, Yukiko is the daughter of Seiko and Shoichi, right? And the stranger who randomly came in and fought with Shoichi was Haruto, maybe? Because it sounds like Naruto. Somehow, the sword can't be pulled from the sheath, and the sheath itself is stuck to the table. Of course it is. And Tega's rich. It looks like one of those rich houses that would be in like Skyrim or Oblivion or something. <laughs> so much emptiness though. Oh damn it. I hate when you do that with maps. Uh, where you go down and they put you to go forward. Whoa! This guy's mega rich. Control panel used for stuff. Accident skipped it, I'm sorry. I forgot the password. The panel is also locked. I need to find the key if I want to enter the library. Ah, oh, Taiga, how can you forget the password to your own rooms? Shut tight. Such a nub, Taiga. I'm starting to not like you anymore. Go play the piano. You can't play the piano. You can't even option to talk about the piano. Ah, oh, Taiga, Taiga, Taiga. What will we do with you? Huh. Another mirror. Dad's katana, a real one. It was made using Tama Hagani. He's a real sword maniac. Something tells me you should take it with you. And he lives in a nice master bedroom. Does he live with mom? I mean, does he sleep in the same room with mom? Some couples don't. Okay, so dad's room had nothing useful. Another piano. God, they love pianos. Oh, his room. How, how? Did I... What? I thought I only kept going right. So, how did I loop there? I have no clue. Yeah, see? It makes no sense. I went up here. I took a right. Excuse me. I continued right. Um, more swords. And somehow it brought me to the left instead. God, that's weird. Oh god, this is a big room. So far, I, I'm hating his mansion. It's too big and confusing. And he has a theater room. No, um, he has a church. The dead men shall live. Together with my body shall they arise. Awake and sing, yet that dwell in the dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. I'm not religious, so I have no clue what that means. All I know is that this place is confusing and huge. I know I already said that, sorry. It's what? Well, the door welcomed me in, so it only makes sense. Key on a dresser. Control panel key. Alright, I can go upstairs now. Hopefully. But before I do that, I want to continue exploring. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's probably locked. Because it is locked. It's opened. It's. Ooh, uh. 
Oh, master bathroom with the pool. Man, this guy's the boss. Oh my god, this place is way too big to explore. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. As I thought, I guess I have found a key. Well, I do have a key to the control panel, which is on the very top floor. I was just exploring, and uh, what's this? I don't know. He won't even interact with it, eh? Whatever. We don't need you. We've got the control panel room key. Uh, it was down, which is weird. Because it brings us going up. And here it is. Time to unlock this boy. What? Passcode? No! I'm gonna try the March 9th thing. Nope, I was wrong. Of course I was. So I'm gonna have to find the passcode in someone's room. Great. Much fun. You suck. Oh hey, I, fo I found a new location. And it seems to be the courtyard. Uh, this ain't gonna be helpful. What the? Okay, I guess you could go swimming then. Didn't expect that. <laughs> swimming with his clothes on, he's gonna catch a code. Oh no, tell you. Oh yeah, because that's the main concern. <laughs> Nothing in the courtyard. Uh, what? What's suck a tree? But at least it means that I'm discovering new places. And that means that most likely I will run into this passcode. What the? I'm frozen. I can't move. What's going on? What's going on? I can't escape either. Did I freeze? No. 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 Oh god. No. I froze. Son of a How does he know that? Really? A switch that I cannot Oh, that's just a tease. There's a note on the door. The switch to open this door is behind the book. What a drag. I have to use switch then. Oh 